the open bartender job. Hey, I'm Nikki. Good to see you. Do you have any experience? Um, kind of. My grandparents drank a lot growing up. <laughs> I don't have time for training wheels. I need someone who knows their way around a bar. Please, I, I promise I catch on quick. Come back tomorrow. You survive, job is yours. Great. Thanks. Yeah. Uh, what time? 8 p.m. See you then. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, those undecided and in between. Welcome to oh, Blackstone oh, Drag Night! Sorry, sorry. because we have some of your favorites here tonight. Miss Cherry Lemonade! <laughs> Mr. Lou Zare! <laughs> and Miss Freda Lajoy! <laughs> What's going on? It's showtime. A drag show here. Tonight's our money makers. And now, without further ado, I'd like to welcome to the stage Current reigning Miss Blackstones and your resident party girl, Miss Gigi Gabor! Good tonight. Here's your cut of the tips. Thank you. Tonight was fun. First time? Guilty. Looked like you enjoyed yourself. I didn't know drag shows are so much fun. They were all really good. Yeah, we started this a few years ago as an amateur night. I sell out every Thursday. Um, well, good night. See you tomorrow. Really? I got the job? Yeah. You got potential, Lucy. Plus, I can't fight the feeling that maybe you need this more than anyone else. Thank you. Good night. Hmm. 
Well, well, well. Where were you last night? I got a job. Bartending. At Blackstone's. Interesting. I'm off to work. Will I see you tonight? I'm going to the bar for training, but I'll be home for dinner. I can cook. That's not necessary. I said you could stay here till you found a place. No obligations, Lucy. I want to. Okay. I'll see you later then. Bye. Uh, I was also afraid to go, I was kind of doing my contour like down, I was doing it too low and it didn't look good. End of story, okay. I found my magic point on my face where I can widen my nose and use the bonds of your face. As reference points, everyone's face is different. <laughs> like Charlie Chaplin. So my brow kind of naturally does that, so we're going to follow that. This trick blows my mind, and I still don't really understand how it works, but fuck me, does it work. Oh. Have you ever been to a drag show? I went once. <laughs> In New York City. It was for a bachelorette party, I think. Why do you ask? The bar does weekly drag shows. You should come. <laughs> you can watch a bunch of men parade around who dress and do their makeup better than me? Mm. <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> I miss this. Feels like old times. Lucy, I'm glad you're excited about this new job. I just wonder, what are you gonna do in the future? You're not gonna be in your 20s forever. Can you not do that? Do what? Mother me. You always did this when we were dating. Can't we just have a nice dinner that doesn't lead to a fight? Of course. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. You don't have to be mad at me. I'm not. I'm not. I swear. In fact, you're mothering me. You made me dinner. And it's very good. <laughs> Want some more wine? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm not gonna finish it. Just give me a top up. Are you, are you gonna miss the cup? <laughs> <laughs> This is nice. This is nice. And you look amazing <laughs> in your cute little ruffle. <laughs> Look at me, Lucy. Mm. How long have you been dressing up in drag? Ten years. Why do you do it? Why does anybody get on stage, honey? The love of performance. But why dress up like a woman? Why not just like join a theater or something? Because, she, because she's a part of me. I don't know if that'll make sense to you or not, but I live my normal life as Boring Kyle, the boring attorney. When I'm dressed as cherry lemonade, I get to express a different side of myself. It does, actually. A lot. Why are there so many more queens than kings? Because we're sexier, obviously. <laughs> Men dressing in drag, well, that's been around since the Shakespearean times, but 
<laughs> drag kings are still earning their place in the drag world. Also, just the demand. There's a higher ratio of women to men in the shows. <laughs> Not so fast. Let's acknowledge women like Gladys Bentley and Ella Shields, who had been performing in cross-dress since the early 1900s. All right, interview over. Don't you have a bar to keep? Sorry, I, I didn't mean to bother you. Attention, ladies and gentlemen. Showtime in 20. Thank you. Thank you Thanks, 20. Yeah, yeah. Uh. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. Yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated. We the one. Yeah, out of the darkness I rose up. Golden my soul, it's a gold rush. Yeah, yeah. Honor and freedom, my toast up. Kicking game on the snare drum. Hard on the beat, let it bleed out like sacrifices. Cut it open, emotions. Spilling like oil and coasting. Therapy for my mental, I'm pinning a pistol and shoot down the criticisms. Individually, I heard the voices that told us. Yeah, yeah. Throw dirt on my name and wish me the worst and stole us, yeah. Shot through the heart and pray on my downfall. But Yancy prevailed on my outlaw. Stand on top of the table like John Wall. Got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold. Rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song. Witness greatness, look up in LeBron home. Oh my God. Oh my God. You know, Halloween isn't for another three months, right? Um, never too early to find the perfect costume. Card declined. Uh, oh, um. I'm sorry. Would you like to sign up for a store rewards program and save 5%? May I? What's a natural beauty like you need so much makeup for anyway? I want to dress up in drag. Walmart is cheaper. Will you help me? <laughs> I won't. I'll pay you back Saturday when I get paid. But... I think I know someone who can. Can I get you a drink? Beer? Water? Water, please. Have a seat. I'll be right back. Thank you again for helping me out at the store. Oh, my pleasure. <laughs> so, am I right to assume that you're gay? I am. Single? Recently dumped. She said I wasn't the same person she fell in love with. Well, are you? 
No. We all change. We grow. We outgrow. I know I'm different. I just haven't been able to explain it. Like when I came out and moved in with Harper, I started to shed my old identity. I guess I just feel like I haven't fully evolved into the new me yet. It takes time. Keep exploring. Are these your kids? Mine and my partners. How does your partner feel about you being a successful queen? Does he dress up too? <laughs> oh, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> and we're separated. Oh, sorry to hear that. What happened? <laughs> she did. <laughs> Eight years ago when I started doing drag, it was more of a hobby. And he, he, he was very supportive. He came to as many shows as he could, and he was my proudest muse. But when it started to become more like a full-time job, it became too much of a commitment. He said he wanted a full-time husband, and the children needed a father. Wow. I too can relate to feeling like you let someone down. We all make sacrifices. If you haven't yet, you will. Why are you helping me? The night we first met, you were so... Um... Rude. <laughs> Your word, not mine, but yes. I was feeling you out. Sometimes I feel people are quick to judge us. So in defense, I was quick to judge you. And for that, I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. Ah. ah, Maya, meet Lucy. Maya is one of the best drag kings I know. Lucy, Maya. Hi, nice to meet you. So, Maya, Lucy wants to be in the next drag competition at the bar. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Have you picked out a name for him yet? How do I know who I want to be? It's not as much of who you want to be, but who you are. Deep down, who else is there? This is your chance to set them free on stage. Mm -hmm. A switch flips when I hit that stage and I become this outgoing, over-the-top drag diva who can shake her ass <laughs> better than Beyonce. <laughs> were your friends and family supportive when they found out? Of course, my friends were the ones that first encouraged me to dress in drag. That's the wonderful thing about our community. You won't be without support or inclusion. Hmm. Have you told anyone yet? My parents still haven't accepted that I'm gay. I'm sure my mom prayed every night that this thing with Harper and I was just a phase. They would never understand this. Eric, mind if I steal her for a few? Oh, be my guest. I feel like you know what you want, Lucy, but you're scared. I just know I can't undo what people will think of me after they find out. Are you happy now? No. <laughs> Well, if hiding who you are isn't making you happy, why not try living your truth? I tried. I moved in with my grandparents when I was 12 and they raised me, but it only drove my parents farther away. I understand. My advice, take it at your own pace. You can get involved with the local pride community, help out in pageants, and support philanthropic organizations. Ease into it. I promise you'll find all the support you need. Thank you. Bye. Lucy, will you be my drag son? What's that? <laughs> Let's start with that pretty face of yours. <laughs> I've been so much fun with me. Mm -hmm.
What the fuck are you doing? Please tell me you did not sleep in your car last night. Where exactly did you expect me to go? I told you you could stay until you found a place. Three was kind of a crowd last night. <sighs> Lucy, I'm sorry. Please come back inside. Nikki, do you have a pen? Uh, yeah. Lucy, Lu Lucy, take a breath. Calm down and talk to me. What's happening? Can you talk to me, please? I can't stay knowing you're moving on. Well, where are you gonna go? I put a deposit down on an apartment. Nikki said I can stay with her till I move in next week. Hey, I'm s I'm sorry. I'm sorry things didn't work out between us, Liz. Me too. You were right. I lost myself. And I know I can't make anyone else happy unless I'm happy with myself. I needed the tough love. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Hi, Mrs. Rhodes, it's Harper. Look, I know you never exactly approved of Lucy and me, but that's not why I'm calling. Lucy needs you. She needs you. Come to Blackstone's this Thursday, 9 p.m. I'll let her explain the rest. Let's do a shot, whatever you want, on the house. Strongest thing you've got. Coming right up. Cheers. Ooh. They look lost. 
Mom, Dad, what are you doing here? Well, Harper called. She said that we needed to be here, so here we are. We wanted to be here for you. Thank you for being here. I'm Jason Love, the real me. And I've never felt happier or more accepted for who I am. Well, we, we may not understand this lifestyle, but life is short. And we don't want to miss out on any more of our daughter's life. We love you so much, Lucy. Break a leg. <laughs> I'm so nervous, I can't do this. I'm gonna puke. <laughs> That's the magic of it, honey. The minute that feeling goes away, it's time to hang up those wigs. Now go. Have some fun. Kicking game on the snare drum, hard on the beat, let it bleed out like sacrifices, cut it open, emotions, spilling like oil and coasting, therapy for my mental, I'm pinning a pistol and shoot down the criticisms, individually, I heard the voices that told us, yeah, yeah, throw dirt on my name and wish me the worst and scold us, yeah, shot through the heart and pray on my downfall, but young T prevailed on my outlaw, stand on top of the table like John Wall, got the cross on my chest like Olympic gold, rap it smooth on the floor like a jazz song, witness greatness, look up in LeBron home. Remember next time for you doubt us, that only made me go John Jones. HGH, I got the shortcut. Got on my side, you got bad luck. Look at how they all doubt us, how they doubt us, yeah. Underrated, underrated, we the underdogs, underestimated, yeah. 